Hi folks, welcome back. Hope you're all keeping well. So today's reaction request is for artificial language on self-portrait official video. This request comes in from one of my VIP patrons, Jamie W. If you're enjoying the YouTube content, please do consider heading over to Patreon, having a look at the different perks that are available there and to support the channel. I'm excited to hear this one because this is a band not only have I not heard, but I actually haven't heard of them. So uh, Jamie has told me that they're a prog metal band, uh, self-described from California. That's it. So this is going to be interesting. That's all I know. For anybody who's new to the channel, I intentionally don't research any of the bands beforehand to give me as much of a sort of unbiased opinion, just purely on the music that I see in front of me. So without further ado, let's get into it.
Yes. I really like that. Really like that. I love a band that can, um, well, wait to the epileptic seizure stop. Um, so uh, <laughs> I love a band that can mix up the sort of progressive um, syncopated stabs and keep you guessing as to where things are going um, and be technically impressive. But at the heart of everything is an emotional song. Sometimes that bit's missing, you know, uh, especially with a lot of tech bands. Uh, so uh, love the singing, love the emotional content of everything, you know. Um, it's all about emotion. The virtuosity is extra. It should never exceed the emotion as far as I'm concerned. So uh, I think we'll run it through again and we'll stop for some chat as we go. As uh, you know, some things came to me and uh, I'll maybe express them as we go back through. So uh, here we go. So it's unsurprising there, you know, if it's heavily keyboard driven, that there's classical. Um, it, there's clearly classical influence in the uh, in the harmony there, in the way that everything's moving. It reminded me a little bit of Muse um, from the harmonic content, not so much the, uh, the style of the music, but uh, the same sort of chord progressions you would hear in Muse because they're heavily, ex you know, um, inf Matt's heavily influenced by lots of different bands, but... Uh, I know he's got a big thing for Rachmaninoff. Um, you know, who doesn't? Um, so, yeah. wonder is he using the inbuilt samples within the keyboard. Um, I actually haven't clicked yet as to what model keyboard he's playing because there's so much going on, so I haven't, haven't noticed that yet. And the piano comes in, takes over, brings in the melody. I love that in the right-hand channel you've got... I mean, it sounds like a cello, but again, I think it's sampled. I think, you know, everything sounded sampled in terms of the orchestral stuff. Apart from there was a part later on where uh, there was like a violin or a viola or something. Um, and that sounded real to me. Um, that might have, might not have been. It might have been fooled. But I remember that jumping out. As, you know, that, that actually sounds like an organic, real instrument that's been recorded. Um, but I love all the sampled stuff. You know, it, it's, it's great. Uh, so, yeah, um, great introduction. Melody with the piano, haunting, cello. And so we have the string pad kind of sound in the keys that's doubling up the vocal line. Um, and then we've got obviously all this um, clever syncopation going on within the bass and the guitarists and uh, the kick and all that, you know. So, um, Another thing that's interesting to me is how whenever the band kicks in, that the vocals are there straight away. Um, yeah, just unusual, you know. Um, I like that. Really like this guy's voice, by the way. Really like it. Um, his singing at times reminded me of the... I've gone blank, can't remember his name. The lead singer from Leprous. Um, also getting slight vibes of Jeff Buckley and maybe a little bit of Matt Bellamy, you know, to be honest. Um Bit of the deer hunter in there as well, possibly, you know, even just in this sort of overall style. Uh, it's probably because of the orchestral mix with the heavy instrument and the, the sort of melodic singing. But uh, it's just tick, 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 ticking all the boxes. These guys all look very young, you know, look like early 20s. Um, although you never know. <laughs> but uh, they all might just have good genetics. Uh, <laughs> Busy drums. Lots of in the way of drum fills incorporated into that, you know, um, which is which is really cool. Uh, the guy, not the guy with the long hair, but the other guy I've noticed is playing an Arnie Ball uh, music man. Uh, I actually had something like that, only had the Sterling version, uh, the John Petrucci model. So um, that guitar looks very similar, familiar. <laughs> vocal harmonies some lovely syncopation again on the drums there um just uh, an unusual uh beat i guess you know with the rim shot um 
before the musical content really comes in, kicks in, uh, whenever you hear that sort of more isolated drum pattern, it almost puts me in the mind of like a polka or something like that. You know, it has that upbeat, um, could almost be taken as jovial, but you know, the, the, the music is sort of melancholic. So uh, we've got sort of um, contrasting, you know, pieces of information coming together. This dun 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 with the darkness of the music. The vocal samples. I think, I think I'm calling them samples because it sounds like uh, female vocals from a keyboard as opposed to an organic voice. It could be off, but that's what it sounds like. Nice bass lines. Definitely some Deer Hunter vibes here. Some tram pecking. Drum build up. Unusual rhythm. Great inflection in the vocals there, you know, a lot of emotion. You're both playing music, man. Ernie Bowles, the guitarist. Here are more um, arpeggios did it did it did it did over in the left low in the mix but uh, yeah parking back to the introduction in there. lots of layered vocals Again, they're big on melody, so I know they've got all this sort of, it's, I don't know, it's, it, it, I did notice that on the date it said 2017. So that's, you know, five years ago from now. Um, how early on into their um, recording career is this? Uh, the album production is really good, really clean, but it does sound like something that's maybe possibly a first album. You know, it doesn't have the big overproduced kind of sound that bands typically get after maybe two or three albums or maybe that's what they're going for i don't know but uh, i would be inclined to guess that this is early on in their career i was going to mention that uh, the guitar work does remind me of polyphia and polyphia have been around a long time but um certainly nothing of their recent stuff with all the trap beats and all the rest of it but particularly the gar guitar work <laughs> Next chorus. Um, another thing I really like, I want to point out there is, despite all that, if you again, if you tune into the keys, there's a lovely slow paced melody unfolding there again, which really is contributing to this emotional quality, despite everything being sort of very tech. Great guitar tones, those big open chords are crystal clear, you can hear every note. Lots of reverb on the piano, over on the left. Lots of space. Lovely space. Because... We built the wall. Another counter melody, so they love their counter melodies. Even whenever things are sparse like this, you've got your main melody there, but you've got a synthesizer up on the left. Sorry, I'm using up and down because it sounds high pitched, but because we built the wall. Moving around a little bit actually. Predictions and vagrants was all we saw to love and lose. 
Is that point there? You know that that sounds like a real violin. Maybe it is. Well, the strings. Another lovely uh, da 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 da. Great pad swells there again from the strings, you know, um, and I love that little da 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 run. Um, just as you heard the, you know, um, the shotgun being pumped before the the band kicks in. Let the strings do the talking now. Put the big chords on the guitar. Lovely melodies. Very elaborate. Lovely. run on the keys is the same run as the strings that came and brought us into that section. Yeah, like this. I might have to put an epilepsy warning on this video. <laughs> um, yeah, this was really, really good. So um, fill me in a wee bit below about uh, these guys and, um, you know, their journey and what they're doing, you know, um, it's got relatively low views um, compared to some of the artists that I've reacted to recently. Um, but I mean, still 46,000 views, you know, it's still really, really big. But uh, yeah, many subs subscribers of the band got 4.5. So yeah, I mean, yeah, get following these guys. These guys are really good. You know, they deserve more. They definitely deserve more attention. Um, yeah, superb stuff. Thanks for the request, Jamie. And uh, if you've liked this, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, do all that stuff. Um, see you next time.